dear students today i come up with one more topic topic name is blood relations okay nani rakta sambandhalu ani cheppannam blood relations uh, before going to start various types of problems uh, first of all we need to aware the, we need to uh, know the all the type of relations uh, so we'll discuss that part one by one actually relations are two types one is blood relation and the next one is relation by law okay i repeat once again relations are two types one is relation by blood for example mother father aunt uncle these all are the relations by blood and the second one is relation by law na relation by law for example wife husband if you take wife husband mother in law brother in law daughter in law and these are called relation by law so relations are two types relation by blood relation by law relation by blood means etc mother father aunt uncle son daughter etc okay relation by law relation by law means wife husband mother in law daughter in law son in law etc these are the different types of relations okay so before going to start the various problems first of all we need to aware about different types of relations okay we'll see this part one by one first one is mothers or fathers brother we know it see think that these all are the relations related to ourselves for example i am talking myself my mothers or my fathers brother so is obviously him so he will be uncle to me okay think that all the relations are uh, uh, and what we can say all the relations are in your in your point of view think that these are your your relations okay my fathers or my mothers brother what we can say uncle we can say or my fathers or my mothers sister so what we can call aunt we can call okay similarly mothers or fathers father mothers or fathers father grandfather or mothers or father uh, fathers mother so what you can say grandmother we can call okay and next son's wife son's wife means my son's wife so obviously daughter in law we can say or daughter's husband daughter's husband means son in law we can say okay similarly husband's or wife's sister husband's or wife's sister so we can call it as sister in law similarly husband's or wife's brother so we can call it as brother in law na okay and these three are these three are something different concepts nephew on na niece on na as well as cousin on na okay usually day to day life lo use chestuntam gaani we don't know what is nephew niece and cousin okay we'll discuss these three parts so brothers or sisters son my brothers or my sisters son so what 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 he will to me so he will call we can call it as nephew i repeat my brothers or my sisters son so obviously nephew or my brothers or my sisters daughter so we can call it as niece and finally my uncles my aunts son or daughter i repeat my uncles or my aunts son or daughter so i can call it as cousin okay these are the various kind of relations okay different different uh, parameters are there uh, here relation by law is there relation by blood is there okay so once again if you are aware about see if question is there in telugu then there is no issue but unfortunately uh, tomorrow you are going to face the question paper in english that's why so be aware about all these type of relations what is nephew what is niece uh, and uh, what is cousin what is brother in law sister in law son in law mother in law and all okay you must have aware about all these uh, what you can say relations so first of all we'll have a brief look one time then we'll start different types of problems mothers or fathers brother we can call it as uncle mothers or fathers sister we can call it as aunt and third one is mothers or fathers father so simply grandfather or mothers or fathers mother grandmother we can call similarly son's wife my son's wife daughter in law my daughter's husband son in law similarly husband's or wife's sister my wife's or my brother's brother what you can call brother in law we can say similarly my brother's 
or my sister's son my brother's my sister's son we can call it as nephew or my brother's or my sister's daughter i can call it as niece and finally my aunts or my uncles son or daughter so they are cousin to me okay these are the different types of relations so relation by law is there relation by blood is there then we'll discuss different types of questions questions are very easy and before going to talk uh, what we can say before going to start the questions as of now we have seen some kind of relations relation by law and num relation by blood and num so now we'll focus on generation chart Gen uh, this generation chart uh, uh, is very important to solve the problems okay dani generation chart and num it's very simple we'll discuss one by one in uh, in this generation uh, chart for example here myself here myself now what i mean to write is all contemporary relations to me all contemporary relations to me what does it mean under na to equal ga unnatundi a relationship so my myself annanu for example my brother or my sister or my cousin if you observe here these all are contemporary to me in terms of age my brother my sister my cousin okay or my uh, wife my wife for example you can take husband okay husband or brother in law we can take or son in law uh, brother in law we can take okay sister in law we can take so these all are said to be contemporary to me once again so myself my brother my sister cousin wife husband brother in law sister in law and all these all the relations are contemporary to me okay now uh, abo generation abo generation so who will come here here simply my mother or my father or my uncle or my aunt or so we can write my mother in law my mother in law or my father in law so these all are said to be contemporary relations i read it once again so myself my brother my sister my cousin or else wife husband brother in law sister in law these all are contemporary relations equal ga unna age almost similar ga my above generation next generation what you can take my mother my father my uncle my aunt or my mother in law or my daughter in law etc okay and uh, if you take another generation next above generation so what you can take here my grandfather my grandfather or my grand uncle or my grandmother my grandmother or we can write my grand aunty etc so these are uh, above generation i repeat once again my grandfather my grand uncle or my grandmother or my grand aunty so inka pai kelta ganaka my grandfather or my great grandfather or my great grandmother okay i repeat i repeat these uh, things once again my brother my sister my cousin my wife wife husband brother in law son in law similarly mother father uncle aunt mother in law father in law okay similarly my grandfather my grand uncle or my grandmother or my gra my grand aunty so inka pai kelta ganaka my great grandmother and my great grandfather okay that is the generation and my next generation so next generation means what you can write here my son my daughter okay my son my daughter or my son in law my son in law or we can take my daughter in law just i am giving idea my daughter in law and a nephew and a similarly niece we can write so these all are next generation to me my, once again so myself my son my daughter or my son in law or my daughter in law my nephew my niece etc and we can take next generation so next generation what we can take here my grandson okay my grandson or my grand daughter right my grandson or my grand daughter if we take next generation my great grandson or my great grand daughter etc so this is a relation chart 
by using this relation chart sometimes this chart may useful to solve the some kind of questions okay for example a is the father of b he mentioned a is the father of b what does it mean a is the father of b means you can write like this because what does it mean a is father to whom father to b since there is a generation gap so you can write express him a is the father and uh, b is he may be either a son or a daughter we can say generation chart is very important generation chart is very important when when you are discussing problem you will get the idea how important it is okay so just have a look on this generation chart and uh, uh, i need to say one more point here so here you should not imagine the gender until unless you don't know exactly you should not predict the general uh, gender for example i i told just now what i told a is the father of b a is the father of b it is very clear a is the father of b means a is male gender a is male gender but i cannot say the b gender b may be a male gender or female gender means a is the father of b anna a is the father of b so if it is male gender usual notation for our convenient it need not be what you can say mathematical condition for our convenient if it is male gender we can take plus if it is female gender we can take minus okay for example a and b are wife and husband a and b are wife and husband then this is notation so by using this symbol we can notate for example a is the husband of b if a is the husband of b means a is male gender and obviously even though it didn't given so b is what here female gender until unless you you know exact gender or else you, you should not predict okay you should not predict the gender so here uh, if it is male gender usually by using plus sign we can indicate if it is female gender by using minus sign and uh, if they are wife and husband by using this dot not this notation and father and daughter or mother by using this notation okay or else uh, what you can say b c is b sa son c is b son i repeat a is the father of b a is the father of b c is the son of b and not so c is the son of b means is its next generation that's why c is the son of b that that depends on the so this this indirectly we are establishing by using generation chart that's why generation chart is very important generation chart is one point and you cannot predict the gender okay that is second point and third point is if it is male gender preferably by using plus sign it's need not be uh, it is plus or minus but preferably for our convenient so to solve the problem for our convenient if it is male gender plus if it is female gender minus okay if there is generation gap then uh, we can take it as vertical line okay by using vertical line we can indicate the generation gap or if it is contemporary for example a and b are, uh, a is the brother of b a is the brother of b how we can indicate here a is the brother of b since they are contemporary generation we you should not indicate by vertical line by using simply a line or horizontal line we can indicate a is the brother of b so it's clear a is male gender i don't know about female gender okay it need may be a, a male gender or female gender a is the brother of b a is the brother of b means it is clear a is male gender but i don't know about uh, b so uh, here uh, b may be a male gender or female gender and since they are contemporary i am using by using iphone symbol or simply by using a gender line if there is a generation gap then vertical line if it is male plus if it is female minus wife and husband by using by what you can say by implication concept okay and so on so i'll indicate just untam and uh, only one thing is telugu medium students have a look on relations because question if it is question is in english then there is no issue you can able to solve easily but you are going to face the exam in english medium that's why have a look about relations blood relations and relation by law and all okay now we'll start the questions one by one i took one question okay we'll try to solve this question by using blood relation concept see observe here a is the brother of b okay a is the brother of b means a and b are both are brother and sisters that we cannot say a is the brother of b ante a means male gender we don't know about the gender of b keep aside and uh, b is the daughter of c c from second ten sentence it is clear that b is female gender because a is the brother of b a is male gender it is very clear 
I don't know about the gender of B. Similarly, B is the daughter of C. From that second sentence, it is clear that B is a female gender and D is the father of A. I repeat, D is the father of A. So, D is what? Male gender. And the question is, how C related to D? How C related to D? The meaning of this is, C, D ki e ma the question meaning. How C related to D? By using generation chart concept, we are going to solve this one by one. Instead of predicting A is the brother of B means something and B is the daughter of C something. Instead of predicting you on your brain, so if you will draw the rough diagram, it is very uh, easy to identify the relation between C and D. Okay. Now this we can solve by using generation chart concept. Okay. Let us start one by one. A is the brother of B. Since they are contemporary, A is the brother of B. It is clear. And I know the gender of A also. Because A is the brother of B. But I don't know the B's gender. Okay. Keep aside. And B is the daughter of C. See, observe here. B is the daughter of C. So, what does it mean? So, since there is a generation gap, here C you to write. And B is the daughter of C. So, obviously, B gender must be a female gender. Okay. And uh, what does it mean from these two sentences? It is clear that A and B are brother and sisters. Okay. For these two, C may be either a daughter or sorry, C may be either a father or a mother. I don't know about the C's gender because simply what he mentioned here, B is the daughter of C. B is the daughter of C means C is simply a parent. He may be a father or a mother. That we cannot predict. Okay. Now go to last sentence. D is the father of A. D is the father of A. So D is the father of A. Since D is father, he is male gender. Since he is male gender, see these both are brother and sisters. And uh, D is the father of A means indirectly D is the father of B also. Okay. Since... Uh, B is the daughter of C. Obviously, these both must be wife and husband. Okay. I hope you understood this. So, now the gender of C is what here? Female gender. Now, D and C are wife and husbands and A and B are brother and sisters. D is the, uh, D is the uh, what you can say, father of A and D is the father of B also. Or C is the mother of B or C is the mother of A also. Now, question is what? How C related to D? C, D came over one to do. How C related to D? So obviously C is the wife of D. Okay. That's why the answer for this question is what we can write here. Wife we can write because C is uh, what? C is the you wanna, uh, wife of D. Anna. Okay. This by using this chart. Okay. That's why you should not predict the gender. It may be plus or minus. You should not predict that. So by using this generation chart concept, we can able to solve very easily. Okay. Let us start one more question. Now, one more question. We have seen just now one question. So, now this is second question. Just focus on this. So, again, you should not predict the gender. Observe here. A is B's sister. A is B's sister. So, who is male gender and who is female gender? A is B's sister means, obviously, A is what here? Female gender. I don't know the gender of B. Okay. Keep aside. And uh, C is B's mother. C is B's mother. So it is clear. C is female gender. Okay. Keep aside. And uh, D is C's father. D is C's father. So here D is male gender. Okay. Because D is the father of C. Similarly, E is the D's mother. E is the D's mother. So now the gender of this E is what here? Female gender, E is the D's mother. Okay. So here, <coughs> E is the female gender. Now, what is the given question? How A related to D? How A related to D? So, A and A vadu, D ki A magunu A and A vadu, D ki A magunu. Again, you will take by using generation chart, you will get the idea. A is the, A is B's sister. So, since they are contemporary, what we can take here? A is B's sister. So, here A is female gender. I don't know the gender of B. Okay. No issue. Keep aside. Next, what he mentioned here? B and C is B's mother. C is B's mother. 
सो इंडायरेक्टली बी इज हुज मदर इयर सॉरी सी इज हुज मदर इयर बीस मदर इयर सो सिंस सी इज बीस मदर वी कैन टेक इट एज फीमेल जेंडर बिकॉज यू ओनली गिव इट क्लियर सी ईज बीस मदर सी अभी सो बी की मदर ऐसा सो काबी सी ईज द मदर आफ बी इंडक्ट सी इज आलो मदर आफ वाट ए सी इज द मदर आफ ए एंड सी इज द वाट यू कैन से मदर आफ बी एंड एज द डाटर आफ सी बट बी ई डोट नो अबउट बी जेडर दट वै सो बी मे बी ए सन् आफ सी आर् बी मे बी ए डाटर आफ सी दट ई कैनाट प्रिडिट नौ विल गो टू मू विल गो टू नैक्स्ट स्टेप डी ईज द सी फादर डी ईज सी फादर अगेन देर इज ए जनरेशन गैप इफ देर इज ए जनरेशन गैप then vertical line if it is contemporary generation then horizontal line okay now we will discuss this now d is c's father so d is c's father so who is c's father d since d is the father of c so what we can take here we can take it as uh, what we can take uh, male gender and here female gender don't know and here also female gender and finally what is mentioned here e is d's mother e is d's mother so again there is generation gap e is d's mother since she is mother again negative sign minus sign okay by using this this is generation chart i repeat this chart once again a is b sister a is b sister same generation that's why our gender line and a is b sister so a is female gender i don't know the gender of b similarly c is b's mother c is b's mother means so your female gender and here i don't know about gender of b and d is c's father and e is d's mother so since there is a generation gap i took vertical line question is what how a related to d how a related to d so a annadi d k magunu annadu so indirect ga d uh, c how d related to c here uh, mothers who is a's mother c who is c's father d indirectly my think that a is yourself a is myself my mother's father my mother's father my mother's father means what grandfather but question is what how a related to d not d related to a a d came agunu annadu so how a related to d so obviously a is the grand daughter okay grand daughter of what we can say d we can say because i know the gender of a still i don't know gender of b but there is no issue because question is not about b question is about a now what is answer how a related to d a d came agun ante obviously what is your answer grand daughter is the answer so like this by using if you will take a chart then it is very easy to understand if you will predict in your mind you may confuse in exam hall okay this is the best best way of uh what you can say expressing answer okay. or now question number 3 in this concept see observe here if p is the husband of q just focus on that p is the husband of q even though he didn't mention gender it is very clear since p is the husband of q p is the male gender and q is the female gender okay keep aside and uh, r is the mother of s and q see observe here r is the mother of s and q so r is the uh, what we can say r is the female gender q is also a female gender i don't know the gender of s so still we'll discuss then what is r to p what is r to p so r anunadi p k magunu antunnadu aa question meaning so we'll focus on this p is the husband of q since they are wife and husband we can indicate by using this notation either two sides or one side no issue it's our for our convenient okay so now p and q are p is the husband p is the husband of q it is very clear p is male gender and q is what here female gender so keep a side and uh, r is the mother of s and q r is the mother of s and q now what is the relation between s and q so indirectly they both are contemporary generations s and q i don't know the gender of s okay either if s is female gender then both are sisters if s is male gender then both are brother and sisters okay 
I don't know age generation. Okay, sorry, I don't know yes, uh, gender. But keep it. But one thing is clear. They both are either a uh, what you can say either a sisters or brother and sisters. Okay, <coughs> and uh, one thing is given. What he mentioned here, R is the mother of R is the mother of S and Q. See for these both who is R. R is the mother. Since R is the mother, since R is the mother, we can return as female gender. Okay. Now R is the mother of S and P. So indirectly, Q is the daughter of R, and S is the child of R. Because I don't know S gender. That's why Q is the daughter of R, and S is the child of R. So he may be a uh, what you can say daughter or son. I don't know the gender of him. No gender of that fellow. See observe here. Then what is R to P? Question. What is R to P? R P K magun one nard question. What is R to P? So who is P here? P indirectly. See think that R is yourself. About whom he is asking? What is R to P? He is asking R uh, relation between R and P. Who is R to P? R P K magun one nard. That's why think that you are the R. You are the R. So, for example, myself is R. My daughter's husband, right? My daughter's husband. So, my daughter's husband means obviously who is he? So, he is son-in-law. But question is what? What is R to P? What is R to P? R P came over on a do. So, obviously, R is what? Mother-in-law to P. I hope you understood. Okay. Once again, once again, this concept. So subject here, if P is the husband of Q, this is very clear. Both are wife and husband. P is the husband of Q means here male gender, female gender. There is no issue with that. And one more sentence is given. R is the mother of S and Q. For S and Q, who is the mother? R is the mother. That's why female gender. So indirectly, for R, Q is the daughter. It is clear because I know the gender of Q. For R, S is the child. I don't know the gender. Uh, what you can say, uh, gender of yes. Okay, but question is what? How R is to P? R another the P K ma go on do. So indirectly, what you can say here? Uh, uh, how R is to P? R P K ma go no. So here P is myself. R R is myself. No issue. Okay, P is myself. My wife's mother. My wife's mother. So my wife's mother means. So obviously, who is to me? So she is a mother in law now mother in law okay like by using generation chart we can simply solve the questions any type of questions we can take one more question in this model now so in this type of questions this is third one so we given some different questions okay now we will focus on the uh, question and accordingly we will take the generation chart based on that we will get the answers okay first one b is the brother of a b is the brother of a okay so since they are contemporary generation we can take like this so b and b is the brother of a so your no issue b is the male gender and a is the female gender oh, sorry i cannot say the a gender but b is male gender because a is the brother of a b is the brother of a b is male gender i don't know the gender of a keep aside c is the c is the sister of b C is the sister of B. What does it mean? So here I know the gender of C also. C is the sister of what he mentioned here. B mentioned that is okay. D is the father of C. D is the father of C. I know the D gender also. D is the father of C. So indirectly, D is the father of C means D is the father of B also, and D is the father of A also. Okay, that is very clear. And D is the father of C. That is finished. E is the sister of D. E is the sister of D. Who is D's sister? E is the sister of D. Okay. He mentioned this. And finally, F is C's husband. F is C's husband. Uh, I repeat, F. F is C's husband. Who is C's husband here? F. So F is C's husband. Indirectly here. Uh, what you can say plus gender and minus gender a is g's son 
a is g sun so indirectly a is g sun so he mentioned g sun that's why a gender is plus but uh, a is what here g sun so indirectly these both must be wife and husband so indirectly what is the gender of g what is the gender of g female gender i repeat this concept once again i repeat this concept once again see focus on this b is the brother of a b is the brother of a it is clear b and c are b is the brother of c means here male gender female gender okay it is i i cannot say it's a female gender but b is the uh, brother of uh, sorry a not not b b is the brother of a b is the brother of a means b is male gender i don't know gender of a keep aside and c is the sister of b c is the sister of b c is the sister of b so means what you can take here uh, b and c c c is the female gender and uh, b is the male gender again uh, keep aside next we will go to further d is the father of c d is the father of c so who is c's father d since uh, d is the father of c indirectly d is the father of b also d is the father of c also because these three are brother and sisters these three are brother and uh, sisters and finally f is c's husband who is c's husband f f is the c's husband so since f is male gender uh, here it is female gender and finally a is g's son g is whose son g's son obviously i know that a's father is d that's why so g must be a female gender okay i understood this concept now by using this we'll solve one by one first question is what how g related to d how g related to d so tell me relation between g and d how g related to d so first question answer is it is very clear d is g is the wife of d i hope you understood how g related to d g d k magun onnadu so g obviously what wife of d it is very clear first question answer is wife now go to second question how a related to d second question is how a related to d a related to d see obviously a is d is what son it is very clear because these both are wife and husband since these both are wife and husband what you can say how a related to d a is the son of d it's very clear so son and the third question how f related to g f to g f to g uh, see f to g f g k magunu see f to g f to g indirectly male gender uh, for example female gender myself myself my daughter's husband my daughter's husband means son in law but question is what how f to g so how f to g f g k magunu so it's very clear son in law right son in law and finally g has how many children so therefore g has how many children three children who are they a b c a b c are the th uh, three children of g and out of them how many are male how many are female two are male and one is female a and b are brothers and c is the sister of both a and b i hope you understood this concept also okay like he may give the question sometimes only one single question will be given or like this three four questions will be given anyhow if you will draw the gender what you can say generation chart it is very easy to understand the meaning of that okay now i will take some other model another model in blood relations okay same this is also different question we will discuss how he asked to find what he asked to find a family has a man i repeat a family has a man comma his wife comma their four sons and uh, their wives the family of every son also has three sons and uh, one daughter now question is how many male members are there in the whole family how many male members are there in the whole family so it's simple logical question you need not to apply any kind of relation or something else by simply 
logical question. So based on this model, again we will discuss some other uh, two models orally. You will get the idea. See, observe here. What is ultimately, what is my focus? How many male numbers? My focus is, I have to identify the male numbers in that whole family. Okay. Let us start one by one. See, a family has a man. So indirectly, so that fellow, man is one fellow and uh, his wife, their four sons, their four sons. That's why ultimately my intention is I have to identify only male numbers. So man and his four sons, their wives, you can ignore that. The family of every son, the family of every son also has three sons. The family of every son, how many sons are there in the family? Four sons. The family of every son also has three sons. Since I have four sons in that family, in that family four sons are there. Each son is having how many sons again? Three sons. Oh, sorry, three sons. That's why four into three, what you can take here? Twelve you can take. And one daughter. You can ignore one daughter because ultimately we have to find out the male numbers. So now identify this one man, four sons plus twelve children. Total, how many are there? 17 male numbers are there in that whole family. It's a simple question. Okay. Now, based on this logic, uh, orally we'll discuss two more questions. Okay. Uh, see, because uh, if I'll say question orally, you'll get the idea. No issue. But here, I hope you understood this question because man is there. He is having four sons. Each son of that family is having three sons and one daughter. So my focus is only uh, what we, what 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 is it? Identifying only male number in that family. Man, four sons. Each son is having three sons. That's why four threes are twelve. Twelve plus four, sixteen. Sixteen plus one, seventeen. Hence, the family is having seventeen male. Now, what you can say? Numbers we can say. Say sometimes the question may be like this also. Based on this model, question may be like this. How? Uh, you will say like this. In a family, there are wife and husband. Let's say for example, A and B. We will discuss this concept orally, you will get the idea, no issue. It's not a big concept, like this easy concept only. In a remember, in a family, there are wife and husband, okay? Wife and husband means, let's say we will name it A and B. A and B are the wife and husband. They are having four sons. See, see logical question, they are having four sons, okay? And uh, each son is having five sisters. Just focus on this, each son. Each son is having how many sisters? Five sisters. Now, the question is how many members are there in that family? Simple question. Okay. By oral, we will get the idea. Question is what? A and B are the wife and husband in a family. They are having how many sons? Four sons. Each son is having how many sisters? Five sisters. Question is how many members are there in the family? Uh, there are two different models are there. Uh, we will discuss the difference between these two questions. You will get the idea. Total number of members I need to identify. Here A and B are father and mother. So how many are there? Two members are there. What he mentioned here, they are having four sons. They are having four sons. There is no issue with, uh, with this also. Now next one is what? Each son is having how many sisters? Five sisters. See logic here. Each son is having five sisters means usually in hurry, how you can think since there are four sons are there and each son is having five sisters, therefore we may take 20 sisters in the family. But that thought is completely wrong, wrong. because for example, see here each son is having five sisters means here not total 20 sisters are there, here only five sisters. For example, let's say um, P, Q, R, S, T. P, Q, R, S, T are five sisters in the family. These P, Q, R, S, T are sisters to first, first son and P, Q, R, S, T are sisters to second son. P, Q, R, S, T are say, sisters to third son and P, Q, R, S, T are sisters to fourth son and so on. Here the meaning is each son, see to confuse that he may mention like that. Each son is having five sisters. Each son is having five sisters means here total not 20 sisters in the whole family there are only what we can say five sisters only we can say. So now two members, two wife and husband, 
फोर सन्स एंड फाइव सिस्टर्स हेन्स द टोटल नंबर ऑफ मेम्बर्स इन द फैमिली इज हाउ मच वी कैन से लेवन वी कैन से इट्स लॉजिकल क्वेश्चन सो यूजली इन ए हरी वी मे वी मे थिंक इन दैट वे इफ यू हैव ए मैथमेटिकल आइडिया वी मे थिंक इन दैट वे बिकॉज ईच सन देर आर फोर सन्स ईच पर्सन इज हैविंग फाइव सो हेन्स टोटल ट्वेंटी सो ट्वेंटी मीन्स वी मे थिंक इन दैट वे बट इट्स स्ट्रॉग ओके ईच सन इज हैविंग फाइव स्टर्स मीन्स ओवरऑल वी आर हैविंग ओनली फाइव सिस्टर्स इन दैट फैमिली एंड वन मोर क्वेश्चन सो इट्स सिंपल लॉजिकल क्वेश्चन ओके बाई डिस्कसिंग वन मोर क्वेश्चन ओरली विल गेट द आइडिया आई एम चेंजिंग दिस क्वेश्चन स्लाइटली हाउ ए एंड बी आर ओके ए एंड बी आर वाइफ एंड हजबैंड ए एंड बी आर वाइफ एंड हजबैंड दे आर हैविंग ऑमिनी सन्स फोर सन्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल सी इंटरेस्टिंगली इंस्टेड ऑफ गिविंग वाट यू कैन से ईच सन इज हैविंग फाइव सिस्टर्स इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस वर्ड सिस्टर्स मेन्शन द वर्ड वाइफ्स नाउ कंप्लीट विड चेंज ओके इट्स लॉजिकल क्वेश्चन सी सी ए एंड बी आर वाइफ एंड हजबैंड ओके हाउ मेनी सन्स दे आर हैविंग दे आर हैविंग फोर सन्स ओके ईच सन इज हैविंग फाइव वाइफ्स हियर सो लॉजिकल क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली सो इट्स इट्स अ फन वीक एंड फन गेम ईच सन इज हैविंग फाइव वाइफ्स ईच सन इज हैविंग फाइव वाइव मीन्स इट डजेंट मीन दैट होल फैमिली इज हैविंग ओनली फाइव वाइफ्स ओके ईच सन इज हैविंग फाइव वाइफ्स मीन्स टोटल फोर इंटू फाइव ईक्वल टू हाउ मेनी वाइफ्स आर देयर Twenty wives are there in that family. That is the uh, what you can say relation between the sister concept and the wife concept. Now, how you can describe this A and B are father and mother, or else wife and husbands. So they are two fellows. And the uh, how many sons are there? Four sons are there. Okay. And each son is having how many wives? Each son is having five wives. So total four into five is equal to how many wives are there? Twenty wives are there. Twenty wives. Plus four, twenty-four, twenty-four plus two. How much we can say? Twenty-six we can say. So if I use the word each son is having five sisters, I am getting total eleven only. But if each son is having five wives, I am getting how many? Twenty-six. Okay. These are the logical questions. Okay. Uh, right. Now we will discuss some other models in blood relations part. So now this is another question. Uh, this question is comes under coded relations part. Okay. Uh, this is one kind. Simply, we can say coded relation type. See, question as follows, like this: A plus B means A is the son of B. A plus B means A is the son of B. A minus B means A is the wife of B. A is the wife of B. A into B means A is the brother of B. A divided by B. A divided by B means A is the mother of B. And finally, A equal to B means A is the sister of B. Here, what you need to focus is you can ignore this A, B, and all. Okay, just focus on the notations. Here, plus plus means what? Son of relation, minus means what? Wife of relation. Into means what? Brother of relation. Divided by means what? Mother of relation. Equal to means what? Sister of relation. You can ignore here a plus. B. See if I'll take a plus b, a is the brother of a. Sorry, a is the son of b. If I'll take p plus q, what does it mean? P is the son of q in that way. So you can ignore this a and b. Intention is notation is important. Plus means what, minus means what, into means what, divided by means what, equal to means what, and so on. Okay. I hope you understood. For example, a minus b. A minus b means what? A is the wife of b. Instead of a minus b, we'll take p minus q. P minus q means what? P is the wife of q. P is the wife of q. Or you can take s minus t. S minus t means what? S is the wife of t, and so on. Okay. Here minus sign is important. But these variables are not important. Okay, I hope you understood because question complete question is given in terms of A B C A B. But finally, he asked you to find like this how how Q is related to P in P plus R minus Q. See here A B given, but the question is is in terms of P Q and R. Okay, that's what uh, notation is important. Notation is important. A B C are not required here. Simply. They are what we can say variables. So now uh, plus means son of, minus means wife of, 
into means brother of divided by means mother of equal to means sister of and so on so now how q is related to p in p plus r minus q so now focus on this p plus q ignore remaining all ignore remaining all p plus q sorry p plus r a plus b means what a is the son of b that's why p plus r means what p is the son of r i hope you understood okay so p plus r means p is the son to whom p is the son of r so there is a generation gap that's why i'm taking vertical line r annanu p annanu okay so now p is the son of r so i know the gender of p so since p is the son of r p is male gender so here r may be a mother or r may be a father to p i don't know the gender of r keep aside and one more thing given r minus q given a minus b means what a is the wife of b a is the wife of b what about r minus q r minus q means r is the wife of q r is the wife of q so indirectly r is the wife of q it is clear so it here female gender and here what male gender i hope you understood this part i have taken by using generation chart concept generation chart concept so now what is the question how q is related to p how q is related to p q p k magunu annadu how q is related to p it's obviously q is the father of p right how q related to p so q is the father of p i hope you understood the concept once okay we will discuss once again anyhow remember here plus minus into divided by equal to are important a b is or a b is a, a and b are not important because uh, in in conditions in cold conditions he given a b but whereas in the given question he given p q r s and, and so on okay that's why just focus on this okay now uh, we'll keep this conditions as it is and we'll take some other question instead of this so for this question how q related to p q is the father of simply what we can say p we can say now we will take one more question okay so now same concept is same but we will discuss one more question just simply i changed only this part just focus on this part remaining as it is same i have taken from previous concept only now what is the question how p is related to q question is how p is related to q in p into r divided by q okay like that he asked to find one question how p is related to q in p into r divided by q now focus on this p into r usually from the given conditions a into b a into b means what a is the brother of b what about p into r p into r means now you should not consider previous question it's individual questions okay previous question is finished now you should not link up previous question and this question okay that is gone that is different condition this is different condition okay individual questions don't link up with previous question and this question okay i hope you understood now see observe here how p related to q p into r a into b means a is the brother of b p into r means p is the brother of r okay so p is the brother of r since they are contemporary generation i have taken a horizontal line p is the brother of r so here the gender of p is plus male gender and whereas r is i don't know we cannot say and simply now find out the relation between r and q r divided by q what about a divided by b a divided by b means a is the mother of b a is the mother of b what about r divided by q r divided by q means r is the mother of q so r is the mother of q what is the gender of r here minus female gender because r is the mother of q next generation okay i hope you understood so next generation r is the mother of q now what is the question how p related to q how p related to q so p ane vaadu q k magunu annadu it's a very uh, what we can say it's simple logic how p related to q in p into r divided by q p into r means p is the brother of r male gender i don't know and uh, divided by means mother of annadu so r divided by q means r is the mother of q i know the uh, what you can say 
gender of or so it's a female gender indirectly these both are brother and sisters brother and sisters so uh, what about q ch q is the child of what or we can say question is what p to r p q came agunu annadu so think that p is yourself p ni anukondi my sister's child my sister child means i can say uh, what you can say we cannot decide here because uh, we don't know whether is daughter or son but question is what how p to q p to q p q came agunu annadu p q came agunu ante so indirectly my mother's brother my mother's brother so my mother's brother is called uh, simply what uncle that is the answer how p to q p q came agunu so think that q is yourself my mother my mother's brother my mother's brother obviously called what here uncle okay like that so now these are only one thing what i mean to say is ignore a and b's only focus on notations okay plus into minus divided by and so on i hope you understood this model now we'll take one more question okay so now i have taken one more question this question is a example for family relations just now i taken that is for coded relations this is for family relations okay now we'll see how the question is there see observe here there are six children playing football question is there are six children playing football namely a b c d e and f okay a and e are brothers f is the sister of e f is the sister of e c is the only son of a's uncle i repeat c is the only son of a's uncle b and d are the daughters b and d are the daughters of the brother of c's father somewhat complicated complicated part okay i repeat b and d are the daughters of the brother of c's father okay if question is there in telugu you may understand something clearly so since it is uh, uh, in english language you may suffer okay you need not to worry and there are four questions first question is how c related to f next question how many male players are there and third question is how many female players are there and finally how d related to a this is the question so now let us uh, take by using generation chart concept okay so it's the best way by using generation chart we can express the question very easily there are six children who are they a b c d e f there are six children now my focus is on only a b c d e and f a and e are brothers no issue a and e both are brothers e only mentioned both are brothers a and b are brothers i know the gender of a i know the gender of e no issue f is the see observe here f is the sister of e f is the sister of e what does it mean f is whose sister e sister indirectly so f is the sister of e as well as sister of a also because a and e are brothers okay i hope you understood that line uh, properly now see observe here c is the c is the only son c is the only son of a's uncle stop here c is the only son of a's uncle so stop till that point only c is the only son of a's uncle see observe here uh, now i am going to take some what you can say uh, general variable general relations general relations so you what you mentioned here c is the only son means i know the gender of c c is the only son male gender c is the only son of a's uncle c is the only son of a's uncle for example a and so for example a's mother and a's father so dummy variables i am taking a's mother and a's father for these two uh, for example uh, what he mentioned here c is the only son of a's uncle a's uncle so indirectly a's uncle means how you will get a's uncle either a's parents brother right a's parents brother so indirectly so here i am taking uh, your brother okay some uh, dummy variable i am taking indirectly some dummy variable okay so your father here brother i am getting brother 
So this brother is having only one son. He is the son. And next what he mentioned here. B and D are the daughters. He only given both are daughters. B and D are the daughters. Daughters of the brother of C's father. Brother of, brother of C's father. So C's father I know. Brother of C's father. Again. So is the brother. For this brother who are there. B and D. Two daughters are there. Okay. I repeat this condition once again. I repeat this condition once again. How many are playing? Six children are playing. Namely who are they? A, B, C, D, E, F, G. A, B, C, D, E, F. Up to F only. A and E are brothers. Okay. No issue. A and E are brothers. Next. Uh, F is the sister of E. F is the sister of E. So with this also there is no issue. F is the sister of E. There is no issue with that also. Now the issue is with only these two steps. C is the only son of A's uncle. C is the only son of A's uncle. So usually A's uncle means we have to find out, the, we have to establish the relation through his mother or father. So mother, father, A's mother or father. So he is brother. His brother's son is who? C here. Because A's uncle's C. C is the only son of A's uncle. C is the only son of A's uncle. I hope you understood. And what about B and D? B and D are the daughters. B and D are the daughters of the brother of C's father. Brother of C's father. So here B and D are the daughters. Uh, and these two are the brother of C's father. I know C's father. His brother's daughters are who are they? B and D. That, the, so that is the what you can say? Generation chart we can say. So even though he didn't mention about these two, simply I have taken as a variables, dummy concepts, okay, that you can ignore anyhow. No question will be on that. Now first question, how C related to F? How C related to F? Tell me, how C related to F? So what we can say here, syndically, brother, brothers, <coughs> how C to, how C related to F he mentioned, C to F. So C to F means, the relation between C and F is very clear. So indirectly, what we can say? Cousin we can say. Okay, cousin we can say. Similarly, how many male players are there? How many male players are there? There are only three male players. Who are they? Uh, A is there, E is there and C is there. There are three male players. I repeat, first question answer is cousin and second question answer is there are three male players. Who are they? A comma E comma C and similarly how many female players are there? See total 6 are there, 3 are male means remaining 3 are what here? Females. Who are they? B comma D comma F. B comma D comma F are the 3 female players and finally D to A. See D to A, C to F both are same. C to F means what? Cousin. Uh, D to A also what you can say? Cousin we can say. Hence the answer for the Next question, that is final question is what here? Cousin, okay. First question answer is cousin. Next question answer is three fellows, three male. And third question answer is three female. And finally, fourth question answer is again what here? Cousin, we can say, okay. These are the some concepts you have seen in uh, what you can say, blood relations part.